So we go to loss of logarithms. For, logar for loss of logarithms, there are three laws. So it's actually for the solving of equation. Log base a x y will sub if it's multiply multiplication, we separate it both. So it will become log base a x and log base a y. For multiplication, it will become addition. Separate it into two logs and add them up. So for example, <coughs> log 10 p squared times q, we can separate it up into log base 10 p squared plus log base 10 q. For multiplication, multiplication, we add them up. Next, if it's log a x over y means it's division, we separate it both to the same case as multiplication. But we put a minus sign. We minus the one below from the one above. Minus the one below from the one above. So, for example, log 10 p square over q. We separate it both to, into log p square and log q and minus them up. Minus this from this. So for division, we minus them up. And lastly, log a to log base a x to the power of n, we can throw the power, we can put the power in front to multiply the log algorithm. So you can see a few examples. Log base 10, 2 to the power of 4 is actually 4 times log base 10, 2. We can throw the power. We can throw this power to the front. Another example. We can throw the x to the front. So this is it. The power x will throw it to the front.